Before we start the show, I want to introduce our 14 very opinionated guests, and they're here to represent different roles, whether they're tall or short, blonde or brunette, maybe rich or poor. They're either proud of who they are or they want a bit of our help. And I really do want to emphasize this. We're not using these terms today because we think it's okay. But unfortunately, this is how people in our society do label each other. And to start things off, fad diets, exercise, personal trainers, no matter how much weight we try to lose, are we ever really content with our size? Women are always, always thinking about their bodies. I mean, it's a 24-hour job. I'd want smaller legs. I'm like 80% content with my size. I want to lose like five to 10 pounds. I look at pictures of Victoria's Secret models and I'm like, oh, I'm so fat and I'm like 107 pounds. You know what I mean? I'm not. It's all about Photoshop and airbrush models. We have Kashana and Liz here who say they represent these roles and are proud of these roles. Yes. I am who I am. I love me. Um, you know, I look good. I don't have any problems being who I am. I have great friends. I date a lot. And uh, I get what I want. And you know what? <laughs> I love that. And you know what? It is bubbling out of you. We are feeling it. And so if you have any question about where beauty lies, it is inside and bubbles right out. Yes. And it shows on the outside. That's right. That's true. <laughs> right. So true. The bigger That's question is, are all of us women ever fully content? Because I feel like I'm happy, I'm comfortable in my own skin, but do I wish I was taller? Yeah. Do I wish... Is that why you wear those shoes? That... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Do I wish that I didn't have dimples on the back of my ass? Yes. yes. Oh. But it doesn't make me love myself less, but I sure would be stoked if I was 5'7 tomorrow and my butt was perfect. It wouldn't suck. And Liz, you're, you know, you're representing a particular role. I Are am. you content with your size? Not at all. I was a beauty queen at a very young age in the UK, and I was cocktailing on loads of pills. So when I was at my skinniest, I wasn't healthy by any means. I mean, I was cocktailing slimming tablets, diuretics, ephedrine, and I was serious, you know, I was unwell through it. So being mm -hmm. skinny is not healthy. Shana, do you laugh at women who try so desperately to measure up this Hollywood standard? I and who are uncomfortable in their own skin? I, I definitely do, because it takes a lot, like Liz says, to get to that size. Um, you know, I, when, I think a lot of women do that because they do feel the pressure and they're not happy. And I'm always happy because food makes me happy. So, <laughs> you know, I, I think it makes all of us happy, right? <laughs> well, as well, physicians, we worry about healthy. Right. You know, and that's really the key. You can be skinny and not healthy, and you can be, you know, larger and healthier. So sometimes we worry about that because there's different parameters for healthy.